new job means a new budget so today we're going to talk about how to budget for a smooth transition all right let's get into the video So you've started your new job just like me and now you have to figure out how you're going to change your budget to fit the new job. Now if you think about it there's always a bit of a transitional phase because you may not get paid for a couple of weeks, for a week, for maybe even a month. So what are you going to do to make it through that awkward period of either having no money or minimal money while you're waiting for your first paycheck to come in. Well, there's a few changes that you may have to consider making, but first and foremost, you should have already wrote down what all of your bills are, when they come in, and how you plan to pay for them. If you're in a pinch and you really don't have money at all, your money is tight, then think about calling some of those companies and just asking hey I've started a new job is there any way that we can change the date on when my payment is due so first and foremost you're gonna have your budget written down set out and ready to go so you know the dates that you need to pay them secondly you're gonna want to call some of those people if you don't have the funds to pay the bills and just ask hey can we change the date that I make the payment? And nine times out of 10, guys, most of the companies are going to be willing to work with you. They already know what the economy is looking like right now. And so they're willing to work with, you know, their customers to help them get through those tough times. So if you see me looking down, guys, I have my notes here. Um, and I'm going to kind of be looking down just to kind of stay on track of what we're talking about today. Um, but also, you're going to figure out your old and your new pay schedule. So if your old pay schedule fell, let's say you got paid every week, then you knew that you had to make certain payments weekly based off of your pay. Some people get paid every two weeks. So you knew, hey, these bills have to be paid on this paycheck and these bills have to be paid on this paycheck. So again, if you have your budget written out, you know what needs to be paid when and you're going to have to reconcile for your new pay schedule. So also, you're going to plan for your last and first paychecks. So your last paycheck coming from your previous job, you're going to have to decide what am I going to pay out of this last paycheck. So let me give you a quick story time um, based off of what I have had to go through. So my last job, um, I worked part time. We got paid weekly. However, there was a stipulation that you had to work at least 18 hours out of the week to even get a paycheck. Now, the way that my new job fell, I was going to have to start that job on a Wednesday, which meant I was not going to be able to work except for Monday and Tuesday for my last job. However, I only worked six hours a day. So with only working six hours a day for two days, that only accounts for me working 12 hours. And my job has already told me you have to work at least 18 hours to even get a paycheck. So that kind of left me with them saying, oh, well, sorry. But Friday will be your last day since you can only work two days out of the week. Well, that left me with a bit of a conundrum because I was like, how am I going to pay my bills now? Because my new job, after going through orientation, I found out I would be paid every two weeks and it wouldn't be until the end of this month, which is October. I will actually get paid the 28th. We get paid on those Fridays. But that left me with two weeks where I wasn't gonna have pay because remember, I got paid weekly. So I was one of those people who had to do exactly what I just told you to do, call 
some of those people and say, hey, this is the date that I'm now going to be getting paid. Is there any way that I can change the date of my payment, please? <laughs> but no, they were more than willing to work with me and make those changes that I needed. But you got to ask. And again, of course, look at when your bills are due. And that falls hand in hand as to when you get paid and when those bills are due. Also, this is a biggie, you guys. Do not touch your 401k. Let me say it again. Do not touch your 401k. <laughs> because you want to leave that there for your retirement. Now, this was a big no-no that I personally had to learn um, the hard way because in a previous job, I had taken out my 401k um, and it is now, yeah, burnt up, gone, gone. Um, so I'm essentially starting all over from scratch. However, I am building a new budget. Hence, how I'm going to get back to where I need to be so that when I get the age of 55, that's my goal, I will have the money that I need to at least go part-time for real this time and stay there. So, my goal is to come up with at least six months worth of money to be able to pay my bills for those six months. Then from there... That's the short term goal. Then from there, I want to build up to be able to pay at least a year's worth of my bills if something were to happen and I didn't have a full time job anymore. Which means I will also be using my side hustles that I have to have extra income. That money will not be touched for anything other than my emergency fund to build up wealth to have to pay bills in case I lose my job because guys we have to think far in advance we have to think in the future and that's something that I didn't do with my last job when I took out my 401k there was kind of just a stupid decision I just have to say it was just a stupid decision I made it so I can't blame anybody but myself so also do you need to buy new work clothes so that's something you have to take into consideration when you're starting a new job, if, especially if you have switched completely different fields. I mean, if you change fields, you may need uniforms or you just may need dress clothes that you previously didn't have to have. So you're going to have to make sure that you budget money to have that set aside or ask a family member, ask your husband if they can loan you the money to be able to get what you need to get started or even just give you the money that you don't have to pay back so that you can get a fresh start. Now, in the meantime, again, I talked about side hustles. So that's going to lead me to the sponsorship for today's video. We are talking about International Open Academy. If you are looking to learn new skills and use that for a side hustle or to start a full on business, you can certainly go down in the description box below, click the link, and it will help give you a discount to learn new skills at International Open Academy so that you can use those skills in your new business or side hustle. International Open Academy helps you learn new skills at a fraction of the price that other companies let you learn skills. It's a no-brainer. I used it, so should you. I got my TESOL certificate so that I could teach English online to non-speaking English natives. And I make money now whenever I want to. Look at International Open Academy by clicking the link down below and getting a discounted price on learning a new skill. Now, back to the video. So there's lots and lots to think about with a new job and a new budget, but those are just a handful of ideas to help you get through the transitional period of starting that new job and creating your new budget. Now, 
you guys have graduated from ladybugs to nicolistas so thank you for watching nicolistas i hope to see you in the next video and check out my podcast that has now been changed to nikki knows nickels all about side hustles saving money personal finance but we get a little more in-depth and personal with the podcast we will also be interviewing people helping to get you on your feet to financial freedom and living the simple good life all right you guys always remember live like every nickel counts and i will see you in a video coming soon bye guys